Good afternoon. It is I, it is Jim, it is Monday. I'm still listening to music. I'm midway through Fly By Night by Rush. And the video is uploaded, people are commenting on it, and it is all good. However, midway through, at the end of last week, and over the course of the weekend, and again this morning, I have been made aware of by a great many people. There is a new Yes song forthcoming, well, from their forthcoming album, which has been released. They are now, <laughs> of course, on Inside Out Records, where everybody else is. All the ev- all the prog bands are ending up there, and uh, so this is this is where they are. And if this is the uh, to follow the usual Inside Out uh, release formula, this will be the first of three singles, I'm guessing, and then the album will come out in maybe two three months time. So we this is called uh, Cut from the Stars. And this incarnation of Yes has not one person who was originally in the band from the first album, first two albums, I think. Um, And we now have Steve Howe, who is obviously the longest serving member of this band. He's been in it since uh, the Yes album. Um, But we now have, obviously, Steve Howe on guitars, Jeff Downs on keyboards, John Davison lead vocals, acoustic guitar, Billy Sherwood on bass guitar, and we have Jay Shellen on drums. So, so this is obviously the first recording since uh, dear old Alan White died last year. Um, and he's filling the shoes. He's filling the. He's uh, taking over the the drumming and percussion responsibilities of Yes. So, what's their album called? Mirror to the Sky. So the album is cut from the stars. <laughs> no, it's not. The single is called Cut from the Stars. And the album, which will be coming out, is called Mirror to the Sky. But you know this anyway. I'm the only one who doesn't. Let's go. This is a five and a bit minute song. And we'll whiz through this and see what we think. Three, two, one. Nice bass line. Actually, it sounds quite uh, John Anderson like. This isn't half bad, is it? I like this. I'm in need of some perspective. I find my place in the jewel collective. Like glare and blinding me. Only after dark may I clearly see. Bum, 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 Andromeda 
there we have it. That wasn't that wasn't too shabby at all. Um, it very much sounded like um, sort of actually old school. Yes, in many ways, it has, it has quite a lot of that sort of sensibility of the sound, and it, it doesn't. It's missing um, for me, Chris Squire, very much, and it's uh, uh, and the. The, the mad bonkers keyboards of either Patrick Mraz or of Rick Waitman, but ostensibly, well not ostensibly, but otherwise, and it is it is sounding like a, so it is his voice is uncannily like uh, John Anderson. That really really surprised I me. Mean, they must do must have gone through a lot of auditioning to find someone who sounded so close to him. That's uh, that's insane, and he he must obviously therefore be able to sing all of John Anderson's old songs um, with. Sort of fair ease, I'd imagine. Um, very impressive, very impressive. I mean, all of it was impressive. The playing and everything about it. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I actually it was really sort of quite a, quite an accomplished piece. I mean, that's not not accomplished piece, but quite a, a, a surprisingly good. And I, I, I'm thinking that a lot of the, the there's a lot of hooks in there that I'll. A real sort of, sort of quite catchy little uh, pieces there. Uh, really, really well done. Really well done. It's a little bit sort of Trevor Rab, uh, Rabin era, uh, yes, as well. Um, from a sort of a, a, it's a shorter song, it's more direct. It's uh, it's got it packs more of a punch. Um, but also, as I said, it sort of kind of does sort of hark back to the the earlier days of the band. Um, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, I'm hopeful then that the new album will be sort of pretty good. Hey, 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 hey. Let's have a look when it comes out. <laughs> right, there we go. So on the live stream last week, uh, one of the things people said, oh, it might be quite nice to do a few just sort of songs here and there. You know, we love the albums, but it wouldn't be, wouldn't do, wouldn't go amiss to throw in a few songs. So here we are. This is just a song. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim. Over.